The next thing we're going to do is we're going to clip our shape files down to a manageable size to avoid huge unnecessary use of processing power. We're going to use our polygon shape file area of interest to clip other shape files. We will not be presented with the option to define a coordinate system, however, we can specify one in the environmental variables or reproject the data in a separate step. Now if we don't need to clip the data and we only need to reproject, we would go to that same place in data management tools. We would go to projection, projections and transformations, and then we would use this features tool and then click either project or batch project and we can reproject our data that way. The interface for this tool is very similar to the raster version of the tool. You would input your feature data in here, specify where you want it to be saved at, and then specify the output coordinate system, the new coordinate system. We're not going to do it this way since we actually need to clip and we're going to use our soils data in this example because it's fairly huge and I'm actually going to save it to my geo database because there's nothing more that I need to do with it. I only need to clip and reproject. So the tool that we're going to use is called the clip tool and it's located in the analysis tools in extract and it's a tool that's actually called clip. I'm going to double click on this and it's asking me for the input features so that's going to be my soils underscore Kansas underscore rally so I'm going to drag and drop that in there and if you're not sure what should go in each box it says clip feature and input feature you can always do the show help and then if we click in this top one it says the features to be clipped click on the bottom one it says the features used to clip the input features and of course output is where we want it to go and then we have the XY tolerance. If you click in this gray space this help menu would change to an overall description. So if I make this window bigger we can see that this is the input so this is kinda of like the cookie dough the clip feature which is the cookie cutter then the output obviously is going to be your cookies. Alright so we have our input features already specified so we need our clip feature and that's going to be that shape file that we created from earlier. I'm going to drag and drop that in there. And we know there's nothing more that we need to do to this but clip it. So I'm going to specify where I want it to go. And I want it to go into my geo database. And I want it to go in here. And we need to make sure the save as type is change actually we just leave that as featured classes and here we type in what we want to call it so I'm going to call it MP soils for Marlet Park soils putting an A on the end to indicate that this includes adjacent areas I'm going to click save and down here where it says environments I'm going to click the environments button and we have an output coordinate system and for this drop down I'm going to choose as specified below and I'm going to specify a coordinate system so we're going to use the projected state plane click the wrong one here the one above it and then 1983 US feet Kansas North and we're going to click OK and then click OK again and then click OK to let this process out. There's a lot of soil so it takes a little while. Sometimes we get something down here in this box and sometimes we don't. We just have to be really really patient. After it's done processing, we usually get a window prompting us if we want to add it as a layer to our data frame or it just appears there like it did in this case and we see that the clip tool was successful. We have a green checkbox here. So I'm going to turn off the bigger soils so we only see the smaller soils and I'm going to right click on my bigger soils and open the attribute table 
And I noticed that we have 10,456 soils in this one. And I'm going to right click on this other one and open attribute table. And I can see we've been flipped down to 38 soils. So as you can see, the data size is much, much more smaller and is going to be much more manageable for us when we do other tasks to this. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and clip my other shape files. Once we're done clipping our shape file, one of the things that we need to check and make sure is that it did exactly what we wanted it to do. Well, we can see visually that it is clipped down. But we also need to make sure that things are correctly spatially projected. Sometimes you can be really tired and after doing tasks repetitiously so many times you can make mistakes. So I'm going to go to the source tab and I just want to check and make sure that it is in the correct projected coordinate system. It's going to scroll down here and I can see the linear units are in foot US and everything else is as it should be. You should always check after processing. You want to catch problems now, not you don't want to wait until you're like 12 or 20 steps into the process and then have to go back several steps to redo things.